Hey everybody, it's Nick Walters here in Little Rock alongside Alanis Harris, the former Razorback, current international basketball player, and owner of the dog breeding service, Burn Nation Canines. But Alanis, we're not talking about dogs today, we're talking about hogs and their historic run to the Elite Eight. As a former Razorback, how cool is it to see your former team make it that far? When you're a hog, once a hog, always a hog. When you get here and you love it, man, it's, you, it's die hard. You bleed it, you know. And you know us from Arkansas, we bleed it anyway. We was born with it. Probably no other school we ever wanted to go to. We want the best for them guys. And for them to make that type of jump year two with Muslim uh, shows a lot of dedication in him and in the program. You know, it is a lot of compare and contrast with the other teams, but this team by far did the best in the past. <laughs> I really think this is uh, something we needed. Uh, the Hogs making it this far for us, uh, going through the COVID situation, uh, this was kind of the best outcome for the whole state of Arkansas. And everybody found something to do, something to rally for, something to have hope for. You know, the whole state just behind the Hogs. You know, the Hogs are our pro team, and it, you know, it wasn't nothing else exciting. Win the Hogs play, win the Hogs play, the whole state is on fire. In Atlanta's Coach Musselman, making the Elite Eight in year two, what did you see out of him that made that kind of run possible? Coach made some adjustments uh, and some players stepped up with their opportunity. They got an opportunity, they made the best of it, and, and they gelled uh, at the perfect time. Everybody that he played uh, valuable minutes stood out. Everybody had games and runs within the season within themselves. Some nights our leading score, Moody didn't have it, Smith would have it, Tate would have it, Devo would have it. When you look at it, the team was very deep. They were, you know, very unselfish. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't really see any type of ball hogging. They played together, they played defense together, they played offense together. So to see those homegrown freshmen make it that far and be a key part for that team, what does it mean as a Little Rock native and a former hog? All the great Arkansas teams that I can remember had uh, good homegrown players on there, added with some good talent from elsewhere. But I think it starts at home. Devo, second way of the season, he, he stood out, he held his own. You know, for them to let a freshman come in and be leading score, and you got seniors and everything else that has their dreams and aspirations also, for them to let him lead them, that, that show your unselfishness right there. An elite eight run for the first time in a quarter century. What does the future have in store for the Razorbacks? I think with Muss and his pedigree and his background and what he achieved this year, I believe we get high-ranked players from this point forward. We get some pro players to have a high-level program from, you know, this time forward to compete. Top eight, sweet 16, you know, final four again. I think them the type of recruits we will land from this point forward. Now, Atlantis, off the hogs and on to the hounds, you are the owner of that dog breeding service, Burr Nation Canines. How did this all come up and what do you do? I've been playing overseas, man, everywhere, you know, Japan, Lebanon. I have had a great run. It's not done yet, but outside of the basketball, I do the dogs. I've been doing this since college, actually. I started with Siberian Huskies, you know, right there with Mike Anderson. I'm the owner of Bird Nation K9s. We uh, provide and breed the best quality XL bullies in the world. We ship them nationally. Overseas, we, we're everywhere with Bird Nation. We are one of the best in the world. Got dogs in every single state. And once I uh, left school, I ended up breeding the XL bullies once I could afford them. <laughs> That's where it all started, man. I wasn't a big dog guy. This all came out of nowhere. Um, and then I fell in love with some of these big beasts with the colors and, and the muscle and the size and the heads and everything like that. It was a lot of love. Uh, all my dogs are my dogs, even when I keep them. All right, Alanis, well, I appreciate your time, man. And just for old time's sake, how about one last hog call to close it off, huh? With the dog right here. Ooh, pig suey. Ooh, pig suey. Ooh, pig suey. Razorbacks. Hey.